What up, y'all? It's Chris Weathers, a.k.a. Shorty C94. Um, mm, man. <laughs> I get our guest. What's up, coffee? My bad, man. I sent you an invite, bro. What's good? What's good? What's up with you, man? How you feeling? What's up? Good. Yeah, All right, here we go. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little tardy. No. Um, good. Yeah, well, welcome. Our guest 130, man. Thank you for being here. I know it's been a while since we spoke, probably since we battled each other. Right. But we be liking each other posts and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Man, before we get started, I always ask my guests, um, what's the most important thing you've been able to take from the world since the pandemic started? Ooh. Damn, that's a good question. Value the people around you. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Value the people around you. Okay. All right, man. We'll just, just you know, dive right in. Um, okay. So what would you say was your first uh, sneaker moment or sneaker memory that you can remember? Oh, I can go back to... I... It was 98 and it was a Sunday night and my sister pops up at my house. I just came, I just came back from camping with Boy Scouts. My sister pops up in my house with the oxidized 14s. Mm. It was a size 12Y, but I wore, it was either 12Y or a 12.5Y, but I wore one. She got the wrong size and I was like, man. So I go to school Monday. Everybody in my clique had the shoe except for me. And I'm like, I got it. My sister got to take it back. Nobody believed me until like Thursday. I popped up with the shoe. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty good one. That's, uh, to me, that's kind of like the forgotten OG 14. Like nobody ever, I know they retroed it once and I want to say 16, but nobody ever talks about that one. So, right. That's a I'm a big 14s are my favorite. Oh, really? Out of all the. Jordan's Out of all, that's, that's, the, that's the shoe that got me in the sneakers. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, man. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, man. Well, what would you say was that next shoe that kind of cemented or solidified everything? Like, all right, this is, I'm, I'm in this, you know, I'm in this sneaker lifestyle now. So, so I got both of them right here. Okay. When these two, when these two drop, this is the care the UNC from '99, Langley '14. When I had these two, I was the only kid in school with these two, in the whole <laughs> fifth, fifth grade, fifth and fourth grade, only kid. And I was like, I love these. I want more. Give me more sneakers, and that's all I asked for was sneakers. Wow. Okay. I have fine memories of both of those. I still have both of our OGs of, of those this summer of 99. So that's like the year I graduated. So, um, okay. yeah, I still I still have. I'm surprised they've never retroed that UNC low. Um, I am too. This one too. It was this one Saturday. I'm a, me and my sister classic riding around listening to music. And my sister calls her calls one of her friends up who works at Foot Locker and Foot After at the time. And she was like, what new shoes drop? He was he told her, she said, like, I do you have it in my brother's size of one? He was like, Yeah. My shoe back then was fifty four eleven. <laughs> and my sister got the discount because she knew the dude, so she only paid like thirty dollars for my shoes. Yeah. I remember those days uh so, uh, uh, yeah, Sean Mevin in the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. All right. 
Low top four teams. I like it. I like it. All right. Yes. Now, we'll stay back there a little bit. Now, what's the shoe that you had back then in the 90s that you wouldn't mess with now? And ones. The slip on and ones. Wow. If you know what I'm talking nah, about, nah. you know what I'm talking I about. I remember those. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot those even existed until you brought those up. Oh, man. Hey, a lot of people forget. Like, I'll get the Cheech and Chong's, but them slip on and ones? No. Yeah. I only, well, I remember, I remember them being advertised. Um, Man, <laughs> I had I had the all navy blue, I think, with the white sole, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Those shoes, because it was around the same time they were out. Those shoes always remind me of like Dada Supremes or something like that. Right. Like, they kind of had that same, <laughs> right? <laughs> same right. fade, you know. Like and one really made, you know, but yeah. Okay. What's up, Keith? What's up, Keandra? Um, all right. So we'll flip it and say, what's the shoe that um, you wanted back then, but you never had? It. Let me see. That's a good one. That is a good. It might have to be. It's the Cherry Wood 16s. Mm, okay. My mom did not buy me those. And I was like, man, but I wound up, but the caveat to that is I wound up getting the Ginger 16s for like $50 on sale. Yeah. So the Ginger's made up for it, but I still want them Cherry Woods. Yeah, what's crazy about that is with you showing the 14s and now you're talking about the 16. It's still OG 14s that I can wear, but I can't really wear any of my 16s. The shrouds have all been broken, but I tried to wear my gingers maybe two years ago and I took a few steps and it was like, nah, you know. Man, I wore my uh, 16s from the countdown pack mm -hmm. this past May. What I did was I wore my 19s from the countdown pack and my 16s. I'm walking through the mall, and my shoe is literally coming apart. I'm like, bro, I just got to make it to the car. That's all I got to do. And I'm in the, the gallery mall. It's like three floors. And I'm like, man, the more I walk, the more it's coming apart. I'm like, man, come on. I just got to make it to the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can't. I can't think of any. Well, I bought the retro of the white and navy 16, so I could wear that, but I can't wear any of the original ones. Like, yeah. um, they don't hold it nah, up. Nah, because with my, with my gingers, the Jordan at the front, like in the little plastic, that even yeah. broke off. And I'm like, damn. damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to just take these off and wear something else. So, oh, man. What's up, McFly? Yeah, we got everybody here. What's the soul? Big fly, Tommy, big shoes. What's up, Kevin? Everybody, appreciate that. Um, all right. So we you know we're we're late nineties, you know, you're still young or whatnot. What right. clothing brands are you wearing with said sneakers? Like what what what, what was your uh, go to brands back when you was young? You used to ask your parents for whoever. Fubu, South Pole, Echo, Rock Aware. Anichi, I had a couple. I had a couple pair of Evichu jeans, and then mainly jerseys. Okay, okay. Now, what was that jersey of jerseys? The one where you like, man, I'm fucking them up with this one. I had so, so I had I had a uh, off brand Demon Nuggets. If you remember when Master P had his clothing mm -hmm. line, mm -hmm. I had a jersey. That, I still got it. It says P Miller. I wore it first day of ninth grade. I still got the jersey and the shoes I wore because I wore it with some BKs. <laughs> and I went to school first day. I'm like, man, I'm killing them first day of school with this jersey. Ain't nobody gonna have it. I got it. I don't know if everybody else got it, but we had, we had this store called Suit Mart. Mm 
Mm. Where, where they sold the Steve Harvey suits, but they also sold urban clothes. And they sold all kinds of jerseys. They sold a lot of Master P clothing line. And I went there. I saw that jersey, and I was like, oh, ain't nobody going to have this. And that, that was that jersey. So, so I'm, if I remember correctly, so it's say like P. Miller here, but it had, like, the stripes, like a 80s Denver Nuggets jersey. Is it that one? I remember that. Hold up. Yeah. What's up, Izzy? I'll be about to show us something from yesterday. Yeah, I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember that. Oh, man. You can tell how big it is. I got this in uh what size is this? I got this in the large and I wear it small. <laughs> yeah, that's a I'm 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 um uh, uh ballers. Props are still having that. Yeah, coffee. <laughs> you had jerseys. Thought I'd be fly. Oh man. Oh man, that's a, that's that's good. That's good. That's that's whew. it's like I went back twenty twenty some years. I, Fine, that ain't no UA. That's a masterpiece. <laughs> and what's funny is, first day of school, I'm in um, Mr. Cummins' class. It was the class, I forgot the name of it, but it was where we would build like scale model bridge and everything. And he asked me, who who wore that jersey? I was like, I guess a baller. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? That That's what I said. He was like, no, who wore that jersey? What's the significance of that jersey? What he was trying to get me to understand. Because mm -hmm. we used to, we used to in class, I was a class clown. We used to sit there talking about Jordans and shoes and whatnot, and not paying attention to him. And he put me on the spot. And I was like, I don't know. Dollar? You know, I know. I just got to talk shit since I don't get that hey. much. Yeah, yeah, that's my fly. That's the home. Yeah. Who has the heat? Yeah. Um, All right. Well, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause. I'm going to put a pen in my normal format. Did they start letting you battle again? Because I remember they had stopped you from battling for a little while. Did they, did they, did they let you back? Uh, I, can sign, I, I can sign up if I want to. Okay. I, okay. I ain't signed up since, uh, I think, the last, I think you might be the last official battle. Because the last one I had was against Skip, and I beat him. Okay. But that was the impromptu, because who Skip was supposed to battle didn't show up so it was like hey coffee you want to battle i'm like yep yeah hey speaking of which man uh, the battle you and i had man i was saying now you, you fucked me up with them jason tatum 97s i forgot that was even a thing i wasn't even ready for that i'm like because i used to work with Foot Locker when those came out i'm like damn i forgot all about that. right and you know that's not what i meant but you got me on that one <laughs> yeah, i know but i didn't say i didn't say it had to be as sick as your shoe oh man and then after that, you was like, all right, I got him. What made, me, what made me mad was I was trying to do my homework on you, and I'm like, he got too many damn shoes, but I don't think he got no BKs, no Felines, and no K-Swiss. I have British Knights and Felines. I've never owned a K-Swiss. That's the one brand I won't wear. But damn, I should have went straight K-Swiss, but when he pulled that BK out on me, I was like, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> the Derek Colby joint, yeah, I had to. I had to have them. Um, it's tough with the felines because, you know, if I feel like 80, 90 percent of the people who wear felines and, you know, do what we do, it's just Grand Hills. There don't be no, no dumb right. mans or no original leathers or nothing like that. You know, it's just Grand right. Hills. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that service sense. Oh, man. What's up, Tootie? What's up, Juggalo? What's up? It's just tequila. Hopefully I'm saying that right. But yeah, what's up, what's up? Um, let me let me get back to to it. So, um, as we we move forward, um, kind of towards more recent sneaker past. What 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 year did you graduate from high school? So we kind of set to oh wait, two thousand eight. Oh, okay, wait. okay, yep. yeah. So that means you that was oh four when you was wearing that jersey. That was still like in the heart of the throwback era. 
Yeah. Right. yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. Now, I know you get asked this a lot, but I, I do have to ask. So wearing, what, what size do you wear? I know it's GS, but what seven. size is it? Right. Seven Y. So do you feel like with you wearing a seven Y, you have kind of an advantage over, over some of the other heads, like you know that can't wear a lot of the exclusives in the women's colors? Yeah, I'm jealous. I do. Uh -huh. I do. Cause I'm I'm right where I can get any shoe I want, but also some man releases I can't get. So give me an example of one you couldn't that you wanted. Uh, the UFC fives. Okay, Kiki was talking about that. Cause she, yeah, yeah, I was. That was one like, of kind of like surprised. They, they dropped in the uh, men's seven, but I don't want to pay two twenty five. <laughs> All right, so, so even if it's fire, you well, for one, it's hard to find the men's seven. Like, uh, right, I've only worked at one Nike account where we actually carried that size regularly. Most of the time, don't. But if you like a shoe that much, would you pay that, or you just like, nah, I'm not paying more. Like, is there a limit? I would pay it. You, have you said what? I would pay it. I say I will pay it. Okay, okay. So I do feel like when, when sneakers do hit resale, if we're unfortunate where we have to pay resale, since your size is such a unicorn on the men's side, people probably try to charge a little more for it. Does that happen? Hell yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, when when did you get to that 7Y? How old were you when you got there? I was probably seventh grade, so like 12, 13. Okay. 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 Uh, shout out to everybody joining. What's up, Courtney? What's up, Dig? DJ Hold Love. on, I gotta take this. This nigga just take a phone call during the live? Man. All right. That's the first here on Shorty Sneaker Conversations, 130 episodes. So which one of y'all copped the UNC toes? I wasn't that lucky. <laughs> you cool? Yeah, I'm cool. All right, all right. Uh, it was my most on the phone of the CN1 then. I'm thinking this is important. I, I got you. I got you. Um, I forgot what I was going to ask now. But uh, it was we were talking about uh, when I got to the 7Y and then yeah. resale. Yeah. I remember when Jordan 1 started going mainstream and small sizes were stupid high. OG. Okay. okay. Now I was asking if anybody uh copped that. Did you get that USC one uh that just came out? Yeah, I took it. I took an L. Hmm. Okay. I wanted them, but there weren't nothing I had to have. The only UNC I really want is the, the first one uh from the, 2015. The UNC the UNC threes didn't even drop in my size. I was gonna so get they, to that. They did, but but I'm definitely not paying that resale. Nah, I remember that was right before the pandemic. Those came out. That was uh, even in regular men's sizes. That was kind of a hard cop. I was still living in Cleveland at the time. It was right before I moved down here, and um, that was that was that was tough. My wife. Want to hear some? Want to hear some crazy? So I normally don't pay resale for shoes. All right. The most I paid resale for a shoe was three twenty four with tax. But the most I paid re retail for a shoe. Was three seventy five with tax. True. Yeah, now I ain't gonna my, lie. My most expensive purchase was retail compared to resale. Okay. Like I've only paid resale when I was married. Uh, There's a few pairs my wife wanted, um, but me myself, I've never paid more than three hundred for a shoe, and even that was years ago, like the two thousand. Yeah. So now it's back when that was high. It's like, nigga, you paid three hundred, like. Now it's like, oh, I paid 300 You know, it's like regular right. now. But, uh, yeah, like now it's like regular. I probably, out of 300 and some shoes, I'll probably pay resale for 20 mm. What's up, King Rio? Okay, okay. Um, You got any regrettable cops in that? Like, I shouldn't have bought these. We all have, but. That, I, saw, I sold every regrettable cop I, I sold. Really? Because it it was during the pandemic, and it was like right when the malls opened back up, it was one of those. Hey, I can't leave the mall without without a shoe in my hand. So I was 
was just buying like I bought the J. Cole Super Mario 64s. Cause I like Mario 64. I bought the Puma, the Puma Future Riders N 64s. I bought some ugly Jordans that I bought a bunch of Jordan 1 Lows that I know I'm not gonna wear because I don't like Jordan 1 Lows unless it's the 85. Nah, I got you. I got you. I was all about that that uh that Nintendo Puma pack. I only bought the two future riders, the the NES and the Nintendo 64 uh Mario. Yeah. I bought the NES cuz I'm like I got an NES. I still play mine. Yeah. Let me get it. I love Nintendo and I was like, "Nah, I'm good." I <laughs> sold it. Yeah. Sold it for like $20 or offer up. Yeah. All right. All right. So what uh, what area are you located in? Uh, Houston. Okay, I was south. hoping. I was like, I think it is. I saw you with the. That's why I used the Mike Jones for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I couldn't really find none of the actual some of the mixtapes. Like I really wanted to use an older Mike Jones song from one of the mixtapes, but. Oh no! You know what you should have did? You should have used anything screw, anything screw music. What, you actually DJ, DJ screw, screw or anything chopped and screwed? Is Michael Watts uh, qualify or does it have to be DJ Screw? No, no, no. You could have did June 27th. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because so I was like, well, I'm going to just go with this mainstream release because I know it's going to be available to use. Because, you know, a lot yeah. of that stuff you can't use on the, the reels and the, the, the whatnot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, what, what – what was the Houston sneaker scene like then? Say like when you were in high school, and what's it like now? In high school, it was it was having what's hot. Like we had our Chuck Taylor phase. We had our we had we had the Shaq Payless phase. If you remember really? the Shaq, you remember the Shaqs that looked like uh, Air Force Ones. Mm -hmm. They you get them at Payless. Everybody. Everybody at Ike had a pair. We went through that. We went through the Jordan phase. We went through the Nike phase. We was real big on BKs when they came back out. When wow. In, the, in eighth grade, when the Adidas forms made a comeback, we was on those. When Nelly dropped Air Force Ones, we was on that. It was basically whatever the world was rocking or whatever was sitting in stores, that's what we rocked. Okay. Okay. All right, so we was big on we was big on this one issue. I don't think nobody knows. It's called players. You got you got them at we got them at our local some some places we we'll call them swap meets. It was like our local corner store that sold bootleg DVDs, CDs. They sold clothes. They might have had a couple of fake Jordans, fake uh, Barberry Timberlands, but they had this brand called Players. They look like Air Force Ones, but they wasn't. And it said player going across, and a bunch of us had them in high school. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, now, let's see here. So you, you were in high school. Now, I always got to relate stuff to sports, too. You know, y'all had the, the Rockets, you know, Yao oh, yeah. and Yao Ming and whatnot. Did anybody wear any T Max out there? Oh, for sure we did. Okay. For sure we did. We we when we got T Max, we was like championship brown. We we going all the way. I'm not gonna lie. The the one year I really thought we was gonna win it was I wanna say oh nine. I wanna say whatever year Kobe played the Magic in the finals. Yeah. He had to come through his he had to come through Houston the second round. We had, because Ron Artes had got us out the first round for the first time mm -hmm. since like 96. Yeah. And aiming them. Yeah. And what what the announcer said was whoever wins this series is going to win the NBA Finals because that series was so tough for Kobe. He didn't, he didn't skate through it. No, it was he seven took games. him seven. I remember because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm probably one what, of the biggest Lakers fans there is. Yeah. Yeah, what hurt us was Yao Ming got hurt. Never came back from that. Never came back. Because that game won, Yao Ming went 11 for 11 and then played a whole second half. We had Matumbo in on the second half. And 
Yeah. But Tomo was old. He was old. Yeah, he was old as fuck. <laughs> he, was old. he still he still was up. What's yeah. up, BA? Yeah, what's up, BA? Oh man. Yeah. Um yeah, that that's it. They had me worried a little bit because I'm like, damn, man, we might not. You know, it went seven games. I remember one game, we all beat us by like 30 or 40. Then the next yep. game, we beat y'all by like 30 or 40. It was right. Rough. That was a, I, I was like, because we had just beat Brandon Roy. Mm -hmm. And I, I was so happy. I'm like, man, if we make it, T Mac has the chance to come back. Yeah, because he was hurt. And then, yeah, I'm like, if we make it, I know T Mac going to try to come back. That's yeah. one of the things why when people say T Mac never made it out the first round until like with the Spurs, I'm like, he was technically on a Rockets team, he just didn't play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but y'all had some people. Y'all had a uh, y'all had a young Kyle Lowry before Toronto. Yep. Carl Landry, Aaron Brooks, uh Give to my look. Yeah, Ray Fur. Yeah, he was there. Y'all had a team, like I said. Y'all, y'all had me worried. I, I was, I was, uh, yeah. I was definitely shook, cause, you know, being from Cleveland, you know, I always say, and I don't want to offend anyone, uh, if your family's been afflicted by it, but I always cheer for the Cavs. Lakers are my team, though. A lot of people will be on what we call Cavs crack. I'm like, man, y'all must be smoking crack if y'all think that the Cavs is go. You know, I don't care how good LeBron. LeBron can only do so much. You know, right? Where when he came back. You know, it was different because he brought all the, you know, people from Miami, yeah. James Jones, Mike Miller, you got Shumpert and JR, and that was all him. You know, if it would have been waiting on the Cavs, we would never won a championship in Cleveland. But um, back then, even then, it was like, oh, the Cavs, the Cavs. I'm like, man, I don't think the Cavs could have beat the Rockets. I don't think they could have beat Denver that year or the Lakers. Nah. Nah. That was when Melo was like, Peak mellow, two thousand nine with him and Chauncey. That was that was rough. That was that was rough. I was sitting. I was like, I look back at that like if we would have had T Mac, that series would have went a different way. Yeah, I love McGrady. I love McGrady. So, okay. Well, we're we're kind of at the the halftime portion of the show already. We're kind of breezing through. Um, All right. So during halftime, you know they're they're um. There's a thing I do call either or where I'm going to ask you either or questions based on right. just things I know about you. You know, we've been uh, acquainted with each other for a little while. And right. with you in Houston, I'm going to ask you hip hop, sports, and sneaker questions. Let's go. So, all right. All right. Um, <laughs> this is a good one. Chameleonaire or Mike Jones? Chameleonaire. Okay. Mike Jones is no longer here. Really? None. He he he. After Trey slapped him, he went around saying he the man. And Trey, him and Trey got into it, and Trey slapped him at the Ozone Awards. It's like you had a couple of hot songs, but outside of that, nobody's really like put on that Mike Jones. Damn. And in Camille and Mike Jones, Camille dropped a double disc uh mixtape called Mixtape Messiah oh, yeah. to where where he. He did Mike Jones. Who? Who they want? Dyke. 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 Who they want? Yeah, Dyke. I remember that. Dyke. <laughs> oh, man. I, I remember I remember that. The mixtape Messiah. One, two, and man. three. Oh, man. I'm going to see if I can find that on title after this show. I wonder if it's streamable. You know. It, it's, on, couple... it's on Spotify. Okay. You know, a lot of these, like, it might just be like, the shit with riding dirty or something. It won't be like all the mixtapes, you know. I I'll be hating that. Right. So Right. Okay. All right. All right. I figured you will go that way. All right. The next question. Raffle or lineup? Lineup. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm hey. I'll say I'll sit there if you tell me, hey, you gotta be there before at six AM to get this shoe. I'm okay. Out. I'm lining up. Even, even if you say, hey, get there at 6 a.m., this is a guaranteed ticket for the shoe that's dropping next week. I'm getting there as early as I can. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, so, if you, you had to choose between 
the uh, the Rockets or the Titans winning a championship? Who you go with? You, did you say the Titans? I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Oilers. I'm thinking of Houston. My bad. The uh, what are you The Texans. The Texans. My bad. Okay. I'm I'm gonna go Rockets because I'm more of a basketball fan than a football fan. I'm still a football fan, but my growing up, all we ever screamed was Rockets. Okay. My mom, my uncle, Rockets fan. Funny, funny thing is, what my favorite memories is the Yao Ming days. My mama never could say Yao Ming. She'd be like, "That boy Chow Man can play. That boy <laughs> Chow Man can play." <laughs> okay. Favorite memories. Yeah, that was an old bad moment I had there because. I was about to call them the Oilers. I know I have been the Oilers since I was in high school. So. Man, I ain't going to lie. I like the Titans, New Jersey that just dropped, but I am kind of a little salty. Yeah. Okay. What's up, Danny? What's up, B? What's up, Danny? Um, okay. So... Dunks or Air Force Ones? Air Force Ones all day. Okay. All right. I got way more Air Force Ones do I than I got Dunks. Here as much. Okay. Okay. Trey the Truth or Slim Thug? Ooh, now that's a good one. I'm Slim still going to go Slim Thug, but I, I love Trey. I forgot about him slapping Mike Jones too until you brought that up. Slim Thug went to my high school. Shout out Soup Soup Ike. Trey, Trey from the South Side. I'm North Side. So Slim Thug from the North Side, South Side, North Side beef, if you know about it. Okay. Okay. I, I, I might I might have to go Slim Thug just because he gave us J Dog. And J Dog is one of my favorite North Side rappers. Okay. Okay. J Dog, the Young Hall. All right, so I got another one for you. Killer Kalyon. All right. Agno. Killer Kalyon all day. What? Over Magnificent? Start. Yes. Killer. Man, I've been listening to Killer Kalyon since early 2000s. Okay. I actually, I actually met him because my best friend since middle school, he produced uh, on one of his, one of his uh, albums. And the song is called How You Live, produced by Mousetrap. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Black Cement 3 or Black Cement 4? I'm going to go to 3. Okay. I'm going to go 4. But I, got you. I, need, I still need that 4, but that 3, I like them both. That's a hard one, but I got to go 3. Okay. Okay. All right. So, where I'm going to go now, um, <laughs> without any Texas bias, because I know that you live in Texas, you're from Texas, okay. UGK, or a and MJG. No Texas bias. I I got I gotta go UG UGK. Okay. Just cause PMC can do it all. Hey, RIP, RIP, Uncle Chad. RIP, PMC. He said I can make you a beat, write you a chorus. I can even write your rap verses for him for you. Yeah. And okay. then then PMC influenced me in ways I, I can't talk about on here. <laughs> get us banned, but if you know what he talks about, you know you if you know you know. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll just jump to the the third part of the show, which is um, you know, sneaker game current, you know, with you okay. being somebody that's been in the game for a long time as well. This this might be bittersweet how we talk about the game now. So I'm gonna start by asking um, really, since the pandemic, since 2020, what's the hardest L that you've taken? 
The hardest L I had to pay resale for a minute. That's what that was the first resale pickup that pissed me off. The Toro 14s. Okay, I, I would be mad about that. I paid, I paid three hundred dollars for them, and I'm sitting there like nobody likes 14s like that. Why the fuck is my size sold out? Why the fuck is my size going for so much? Now, I'm gonna say this. I feel like. And again, I don't want to offend some of y'all, but I feel like certain models and then certain colorways of certain models, they have a, um, a certain audience in mind. And I feel like they had to make a 14 for the hood. Yeah. And that, that clearly was that red one. I mean, they're going to do other, I mean, you know how they do. It's going to be other ones. It's going to be a yellow one like it soon, probably. Yeah. They already had a gray one mocked up, but I don't know if it ever came out. But yeah, nobody was. I ain't gonna say nobody, but people don't really like 14s if they're not the white and red one or the white, black, and red one, or the black and red one, the last shot. To me, those are the one. So, or the black. But I think because yeah, black and red. The, the world was, I wanna say when that shoe dropped, it was like the world was kind of opening back up and people had all this money. So it was like, let me buy these shoes and then resell them. And that market went up and I was like, for oh, why? Yeah, yeah, fourteen battle. <laughs> yeah, that's why I took that L. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what's the biggest win that you've had since the pandemic? Oh, it's been a couple. Like, I got some retro twenties from two thousand and five for like eighty dollars. I got the maroon sixes for like sixty dollars. I, I might say right now it's gonna be another fourteen. It's gonna be the door back of fourteen. I got it for three hundred, and it's reselling for five. Yeah, it's a nice shoe. You know, with the um, you know, me and uh, Kiki, we do a show every month called uh, Reach Back. So yeah. We show the stuff we yeah. come up with. And, I know she had them, and, and you know, I'm most of the Doran Becker Jordans I, I want. I have, but I actually wouldn't mind having those. So I may uh, maybe on the lookout. Got that. lucky. The dude, the dude started at like three seventy five. I just kept watching, kept watching, mm -hmm. seeing that he kept he kept dropping that price, kept dropping it, kept dropping it to where I want I want to say actually I paid two eighty plus shipping and taxes. It came up to like three twenty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. It. I always give Kiki a hard time, like, man, you know, you're only getting these deals because you wear GS. But, you know, I, I guess the other the, the other side of that is wearing, cause she doesn't wear a men's 7 or a 7Y, but if you wear that size, it's so hard to come by. I can see where it's yeah. kind of hard. The, the hardest thing, too, is for, like, some of my uh, basketball shoes, like, I'm going to get an Air Trainer or Air Mag. I go seven and a half in my, my uh in my shoes. So in store, they don't have seven and a half. Nah. Any any shoe store I've ever ran other than that one where I was like, we we get seven to seven and a half. So right. Usually the shoes will start at eight. If we got we wouldn't get a seven, like we might get one seven and a half. Like when I was at Hibbit, most of the time I would get stuff and it would start at eight. Right. But, I feel that. I feel that. Okay. Okay. Now, what's everybody, you know, us being older, remember how it was. What's one thing about the game that you would change? Raffles. I would, I would go back to camping out, being able to actually get your shoes. Okay. Okay. Now, what's one thing about how the game was when it was pure that you didn't like back then? Now, the caveat to that is the people that, that wouldn't camp out, but they, they would sit there and have friends and family camp out and then be like, hey, they about to open up in like 15 minutes. And then everybody would come and jam pack the door. It's like, can we be civil? about this like i know we all want to shoot <laughs> be fair yeah. 
the fact or the fact that when you leave when you leave certain malls depends on the area you gotta watch your back you gotta make sure nobody's following you yeah yeah i got you i got you now what what would you say in houston is like the mall for the sneakers because every every city has a sneaker mall where it's like yeah i'm gonna go here they don't have more stores here gallery okay okay just okay. just because it's three floors you got two pounds you got foot locker you got jd you got champ you got adidas store you got the journeys you got you you got a couple of resale shops in there, but you that's, that's the one that has like the most stores. Okay. Yeah, back in, in Cleveland, we had a, a, a mall like that. It's been closed since 2008, but our, our mall, it was called Randall Park Mall when it was built. It was the biggest mall in the world. It was built in the 70s. You know, a lot of malls have come and been yeah. fence, but um, that was our sneaker mall because it was literally like that where it was all kinds of stores and it was like, well, I'm gonna get them from somewhere. You know, right? You know. All right, all right. Now, as we move, move a little further, what um, what direction would you like to see your collection go in the future? To be able to be able to get some of these reachbacks I want for a good price. Okay. All right, give us things that well, like what's one of the ones you 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 looking for? Uh, right now I want the the Valentine's Day eight, uh, the all red joint. Yeah, I got I got them in my eBay watch list. Dude wants like he wants a good price, but I want to, I'm waiting for him to drop the price to where I want to pay. Do you ever offer? I did, but he he didn't accept it. Okay. So I'm I'm a I'm a patient. If you know me, I'm a patient dude. So I will wait. I I won't pay your price. I will send an offer you don't accept it. I will send another one you don't accept it. I'll wait till you drop that price. Okay. Because eventually I'll be like, hey, you wind up selling it for my price. I got you. I got you. Okay. Now what is a um. What are some of the releases in, left in this year that are uh, on your radar? 14s for sure. That's dropping around Christmas. DMP, the the, uh, the KD KD3 on Pearl and the KD16 on Pearl. The I want the J Bible three J Bible threes, and I want the. The Kobe Hirachis and the Bordeaux Hirachis, just to name a few. Okay. All right. Um, um, what is your holy grail of holy grails, a shoe that you want that you just haven't been able to get your hands on for whatever reason? Ooh. That's a good one because I just, I just got it. It would have been a UNC uh, 14s, but... Next up, probably be the Cherry with 16s. Okay, okay. I, I really love that reverse trout. Yeah. George, can we get those, please? Please. Do you know how many, do you know how many pairs that you have? 337. 337 pairs. That's a lot of shoes, bro. That's a lot. Yeah, I know. Lot. My girl hates it. My girl hates it. Ah, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Hopefully, she's not watching. She'll be mad to be saying that. But we all need something. I, I tell her all the time, you be all right. She's like, your, your stacks are growing. I'm like, hey, it don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we got a few minutes. Instagram only lets me go live for an hour, so it could cut right. off on of But um, did you have any questions uh, for me? No, I actually didn't. Thank you for uh, having me up here. No problem. No problem, man.
All right. Well, before we go, do you um, want to share your socials with anybody who may not be following you? Hey, it's Coffee with the Folk on everything on IG, on YouTube, and on TikTok. Sub up to my YouTube channel. I'll be dropping dope content. All right, for sure. For sure. Well, look, well, I, I'm Facebook friends with you, so I can call you Lawrence. But all right. Yeah, cool. you can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll be in touch with you, man. You know, be blessed. Thank you. For all right, Chris. Yeah, for sure, man. man. Well, you take care. Thanks to everybody watching. We'll see y'all soon. Peace. Peace.